Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic is Laminar Airflow. So let's start. Laminar Airflow is an enclosed workstation used in Microbiology Laboratory. There is a no joints and gaps present in this workstation. This system is also known as Laminar Flow Closet or a Tissue Culture Hood. Lamina airflow is popularized by Sir John Charnelay in 1960 during joint replacement implantation. After a series of trials, he found out this system significantly decreased infection, which may occur during surgery. Air enters in this cabinet may contain biological contaminants like bacteria, viruses, fungal parts, spores, and other impurities such as dust. Filters present in LAF remove all these biological contaminants and impurities. Laminar airflow filters can remove particles that are up to 0.3 micron in size. Thus, this system provides contamination-free environment and aseptic conditions for distribution of specific media, plate pouring, inoculation and other microbiological techniques. This system also gives protection to the user and environment. Laminar airflow is a system which allows travel of gas molecules in multiple straight lines which are parallel to each other. These layers of gas molecules are uniform in velocity and do not mix up with each other. This provides a highly efficient circulation system which captures and eliminates all sorts of impure particles present in the air and maintains a clean and sterile environment. How does laminar airflow system work? When the device is turned on, the blower and the fluorescence light get activated. The blower sucks the room air, large particles filter through the filter pad. This filtered air then passes through the particulate filter, which facilitates the removal of microcontaminants such as bacteria or dust. A sterile work environment can thus be achieved within the working area with a uniform flow of air. Return air is again becomes contaminated. UV bulb is also present in laminar airflow system which kills remaining bacteria, pathogens and other micro-level impurities. Parts of laminar airflow First part is cabinet. This enclosed cabinet is made up of stainless steel. It provides contamination-free environment inside the cabinet. There is no gaps and joints which prevent accumulation of spores. Front of this cabinet covered with glass shield which can be opened completely or partially which helps user to work in it. Second part is working station. Flat working station present inside the hood. Top of the station is made up of stainless steel which prevent rusting. All the tools used for experiment like inoculation loop, burner and patri dishes etc are placed on it. Fan or blower Blower sucks impure air of room and captures large particles and dust present in the air. Blower pass this filter air to the HEPA filter. HEPA filter. This is high efficient particulate air filter. This is the specific feature of laminar airflow and this is the second filter. It removes all sorts of microcontaminants including bacteria, fungi and dust particles to maintain a safe and sterile environment. How HEPA filter work? It is a mat of randomly aligned fibers made from either glass or synthetic material. Here glass can be silica, aluminium, calcium oxide, boron oxide, magnesium oxide, sodium oxide and synthetic material can be linen or polycotton plant. Particles stuck between these filter fiber and changes of airflow changes particle interaction with each other which cause trapping. Ultraviolet lamp. Ultraviolet lamp exposes ultraviolet light radiation inside LAF before and after use. It kills any microcontaminants if present in chamber or on tools and equipment. The UV lamp should be turned on at least 15 minutes before the operation. Next is fluorescent lamp. This provides proper illumination and sufficient light inside the chamber. Types of laminar airflow. It is the most used type of laminar airflow. In vertical flow cabinet, room air is entered in working area through HEPA filter fitted on top of the cabinet. 
Thus, air flows downwards towards work surface and leaves the cabinet sweeping out particles and bacteria. Next is horizontal lamina airflow. In horizontal airflow cabinet, room air is entered in working area through HEPA filter fitted on the back side of the cabinet. Filtered air flows horizontally towards the user, creating sterile working environment. Uses of lamina airflow Contamination sensitive processes like tissue culture and plant culture are carried out in lamina airflow. Processes like spray plate, pore plate and inoculation, other microbiological techniques are performed inside lamina airflow. Pharmaceutical industry where drug preparation techniques are carried out use this system. Other than life sciences research, this cabinet is also used in mushroom cultivation, IVF, pathology lab, electronic industry and many more.